Now, if you grew up in the old Johannesburg, you'll remember the doll's house. I used to come here with the whole family back in the 1990s and the early 2000s for some of the best slop chips and home-cooked food and thick, refreshing milkshakes in all of Joburg. It was one of many 70s-style roadhouses then. Then one of a few, then the last. Now this is all that remains of the once famous American-style diner. This was a good place, Dollar. They used to cook a nice food. Everything was fantastic. So, yeah, man. But I know that's life. They know what they are doing. But Dollar was the best, best restaurant. We uh, used to chill here and relax here. Yeah, time. man. And you were working here as security yes. when the place was open, yeah? It's early 19th century late Victorian architecture left to rack and ruin, scheduled for demolition sometime soon, standing neglected alongside the bustling Louis Boerter Avenue, about a quarter mile from Orange Grove. Now Orange Grove is an inner city neighborhood about half a mile northeast of the city center. Once a popular cosmopolitan neighborhood with a predominantly working to middle class demographic, the area has now come to exemplify much of inner city Johannesburg and her older neighborhoods. Rustic to say the least. Dangerous to say the most. What's up, bro? Disheveled and yet alive with every demographic under the African sun. So where you stay, my man? Uh, 12th Street, Orange Grove. Where? 12th Street, Orange Grove. 12th Street, Orange Grove, eh? Uh, so how long have you stayed here, my man, eh? Um, six years. Six years, eh? Ah, oh, that's a long time, man. So where are you working, my man, eh? No work. No work, eh? Orange Grove was once home to a large section of Johannesburg's once significant Jewish population. And is still home to a considerable lower income Jewish community, albeit heavily in decline. Once fondly known to residents as Little Italy due to its majority blue-collar Italian population, the area is still home to a number of Italian and Jewish-owned places of commerce, and in its early days even once housed Mohandas Gandhi while he studied law in South Africa. Now, its once meticulously maintained front lawns and white picket fences have been replaced with high walls and fences with razor wire and electric fences so fences a lot but that's because there's a lot of fences defending residents from the smothering crime wave that gripped the city by the throat police presence as well as that of private security is always noted amid the roaring of constant through traffic and screeching of emergency sirens How long? Uh, long time, but no, 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 renew the, the, the place. Why not renew the place? Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I understand, my man, yeah? Oh, but you record me? Yeah, my man, because you said it's okay, eh? Oh. But if you don't want me to, then I'll, I'll stop, my man, eh? You, you know what I mean? People left, so not selling the trucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, you nah, that's it. You see the columns go down if you sell the, the trucks. These guys, they were selling cocaine and... Uh, now with all the talk of drugs and criminal elements, I knew it wouldn't be difficult to find a drug dealer. And after a short time of combing through the rundown flats and alleyways that lined Louis Boerter Avenue, it wasn't long until I ran into this gentleman. This guy over here. It's me, Basuka, aka. Oh, we were living here in Orange Grove past 10 years ago, okay? Yeah. I've been here, it's a nice neighborhood. Yeah. People are there are very lovely. We're chilling, smoking in the good, you know? Everything is nice. so surplus, yeah. And we love the people around here, you know? Since I'm here, there is no crime. Everybody's yeah, raising good. Uh, we have our wives, we have our kids, we've grown up in the same neighborhood. We live a good life. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. When the life is going for the good reason, for a better purpose. Yeah, no yeah. violence to the youth, no guns. That is the most important in life. No guns to the violence of the yeah. youth. Yeah. Everything nice. 
more fire to the youth. And what about like blacks and whites getting along here? Um, we all black like... and white life here is okay. Uh, we don't have uh, too much of a uh, racist here. Orange nice. group is very, very nice. Um, it's a nice to live. It's a very nice place to live. No racist. I must be sure about that. Life is so good, you know? Life is so good. Nice. No problem. Yeah. Nice, and man. since I'm here, um, most of them, we are caring about the street kids. Yes. We also support the street kids when you see them. Without clothes, without bed, what to eat, you assist the street kids. Nice. Because you don't know about life tomorrow. Yeah. We make it today, we don't know about tomorrow. For sure, Some others For sure, are sleeping in the house, some others are sleeping on the street. But we thank God to be in a, par a parliament. Yeah. We're living like a king, you know. Yeah. No problem. Slash the Almighty. Now, with the criminal element in mind, I feel that it's only fair to mention that Orange Grove is protected by the Norwood Police Precinct. One of the most vigilant and responsive units in the city. And, when staring out at the innumerable housing units of the famous Norwood Barracks, I can't help but feel that numbers play heavily into this ongoing game of cops and robbers, where the robbers always seem to be one step ahead. The Norwood Police Barracks, fondly known as the Cop Shop, imposes over the immediate area, watchfully and ominously. Now, even after the recent decline of Orange Grove, it's still home to some famous places of commerce, from Tonino's Portuguese eatery to the Witz Hospice thrift shop to the Radium Beer Hall established in 1929. One of the oldest pubs in all of Johannesburg, once unofficially hosting some of the black jazz legends of the time like Huma Sakela and Miriam Makeba. During the segregated apartheid era, it was one of the few establishments to remain almost completely unchanged over the course of the century. Otherwise, most of Orange Grove's commerce consists of liquor stores, spas shops, second-hand stores, hardware shops, small hair and beauty salons, as well as a seemingly endless array of cash and carry outlets, pawn shops, and savings and loans, all clustered along one another on the avenue that connects Alexandra Township, the northern suburbs, and the Johannesburg Central Business District, simply referred to locals as town. The old Victorian era houses have largely fell into disrepair, adding to the rapidly changing face of the area, with many houses just left abandoned altogether. The closest thing you'll get to Orange Grove in her heyday is the neighboring suburb of Norwood, a picturesque, affluent, working to upper middle class neighborhood, home to a number of Johannesburg's best restaurants and eateries, from Cosa Nostra's Italiano Trattoria to the Queen of Sheba's Ethiopian cuisine. Norwood maintains a semblance of what Orange Grove used to be back in the 90s. Now in 
closing, I encourage visitors and residents alike to explore the city and the places that I've brought attention to and lend a hand to restoring businesses to these more neglected areas. They may not be what they used to be, but for the most part are filled with good people and yes, some drug dealers that for as much harm as they do, still provide a better service to the communities than our tax money that goes to the government. Young Tarzan of Jehazardus, follow me on Instagram, leave a like and a comment, hit the bell and subscribe. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more content.